Hans Wormhat is famous on this channel for claiming that certain animals are fake. Now you might remember our two videos on him with his top 10 fake animals of all time. Well, upon looking on the archives of Hans's channel, I came across something which was quite different to his normal type of video. Not his usual opinion on the world, but equally as shocking. And that is the claim that the Great Pyramids of Egypt are made from concrete. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tim Four Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Now, Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy protection easy and attainable, encrypting all internet traffic sent to and from your devices and ensuring that your IP address remains hidden to make sure no one can see what you do online. On top of that, they block ads, trackers, malwares, and phishing attempts. And unlike other VPN services, you can use it on as many devices as you like simultaneously. Now, in today's day and age, the internet knows a hell of a lot about us. And that probably becomes more apparent when we talk about advertising. Now, have you ever seen an ad or banner that brings to mind that someone's listening into your conversations or reading your thoughts? This is how your online data is being used against you. Now, you can use Surfshark to become resistant to this sort of targeted advertising. All you need to do is just click on the link in the description or go to surfshark.deal slash simandan and use my promo code simandan to get a whopping 83% off and that three months extra free. Right, back to today's video, which as I said at the start is on the brilliant, brilliant Hans Wormhat. Now, if you haven't seen Hans before, he's responsible for such gems as rambling about the color orange, parasites conspiracy, and gorilla trek scam. Well, today he's got an interesting video about the creation of the pyramids. Away we go, everyone. And I suggest you strap yourselves in for this one. Hans Wormhat. This is a video on concrete. Concrete. So concrete's probably the most versatile building material out there. Uh, you, because you just you build a shape out of plywood, and you pour in the concrete. So that it's the easiest thing. You make a shape, you make the shell, and you pour it in. I'm sure you all got the focus of the con in concrete. There, he's off already. And you can make any type of color of concrete. There's different consistencies, um, depending on the different dirts. And it's dirt. It's probably sand or whatever. I'm not going to use the technical terms. I'm not like a concrete master or anything. You do surprise me, Hans. But uh, I've seen a lot of concrete buildings in my life. I know that it's a super versatile building material. I like the 21 in this image, 777. You, yeah, you've just seen it on all sorts of architecture, sharp or smooth. Uh, and just so versatile, and you can build anything out of any shape. And look at that, that's pretty incredible. This looks like, yeah, and, and they usually just do this. It's They just build a mold out of plywood, and you're just pouring in the, the concrete. Pretty incredible buildings, if you think about it. We get it, buddy. You seem to like concrete, but let's get your point across, please. You can make pyramids out of concrete. <laughs> So, I mean, that's mostly what this video is about. The pyramid hoax, Egyptology hoax. That's all a hoax. It's just modern uh, masonry. That's it. Well, that is a pretty outrageous claim, even for you, Hans. So you're saying that Egypt, and by extension, its entire history, is nothing more than modern masonry. And its history is nothing more than a hoax. Wow, Hans. Wow. And how do we suppose that you know that? Jungle Surfer, this one proved it for, you go to the Wikipedia article for the pyramids and it'll say like masonry right on there on like what type of, and uh, I agree, that's total in your face right there. Pyramids are just, it's masonry, the masons. Now, you won't get an argument from me that pyramids today can be made from concrete. And in Han's defense, forms of concrete have been around for thousands of years. However, it was not until the mid 1800s that we perfected uh, the making of modern concrete. And of course, the Great Pyramids of Egypt were built with limestone and granite. They know how to use concrete. They're concrete. They're very good with it. They can put it in all sorts of shapes and sizes and thicknesses and consistencies and color. All right, that looks like. And so you, this is it. That's what this is. 
Well, no, not there. That is classic limestone. But of course, that is not how the pyramids would have looked 4,000 years ago when they were built. The outer layer was made from a higher quality, finer limestone one in which had to be quarried further away from Giza. Now this was used to give the pyramids that smooth exterior, nothing like how we see them today. You know, we all knew when we were sitting in class, being brainwashed by our teacher, trying to, trying to be spoon-fed BS lies about slaves chiseling away at a... We knew that that was BS. We have to be able to have confidence in ourselves that we know that that doesn't work. Just we knew that when they were telling it to us then, and now we just have the confidence to be like, okay, I knew that that was BS in the moment. Now I know that these people are all liars, deceivers, transgender. Weird to put that one in there. But I don't think that we do all know that it's BS, Hans. The pyramids took an estimated 30 years to complete. And given the technology that was available to them uh, back in those times, and the fact that those pyramids were so huge, seems to me a reasonable expectation. And that's what this is, it's just masonry. Look, it's concrete. You can see that's not a slab of stone. What? Do any of these look like giant slabs of stone to you? Or do they look like concrete that's crumbling? That's crumbling concrete. No, they do look like eroding slabs of limestone to me. And I think they do to everyone else as well. Concrete. It's a big con. You know, people are always so not impressed with the pyramids. When you hear their stories, they're just like, Egypt is a trash hole. And... The, the pyramids are not impressive. It's because uh, you know that it's fake when you're there. You're like, this isn't special. It's just a pile of concrete. Now, I personally love to see the Great Pyramids of Egypt uh, in real life. And then you can bet your bottom dollar, I would be impressed. Um, that's all it is. It's a con. Concrete. The Sphinx is ugly. No aesthetic value whatsoever. It's just ugly because it's just a weird concrete sculpture of some type and then they just bash it to make it look old to be fair it's lost its nose <laughs> how how to make an ancient site 101 find some abandoned piece of land do your masonic bs build some build some crappy masonic thing and then you just go at it with a sledgehammer for a couple you know have a couple drunken nights where you take get sledgehammers and just everybody goes to town there you go voila You've created an ancient site. If it's so easy to do, Hans, then why don't you make your own ancient site, my friend? Um, with concrete. So here, this is actually kind of an interesting thing. You can see just all the piles of rubble right here. If it was like a slow degradation of over millennia and millennia, why would there just be piles of... This is because they, they come at the wall and they just start hacking at it. This is, this is debris from when this thing was built. This isn't even the pyramids, this is the Baalbek Temple in Lebanon. Also made from limestone though. If, if something's just slowly decaying over the millennia, you don't get a bunch of pile up. And the pyramids have the same thing, right? If, if the wind was like washing away the pyramids over thousands of years or whatever, you wouldn't have all the broken pieces at the base. I don't know, that's just not how it would work. Of course you would, Hans. Where would those broken pieces go otherwise? It's just not impressive when you really know, when you know the secret, it's not impressive. They don't want you climbing on it because you probably would find out that it's just BS made of concrete. Yeah, because that's the reason you can't climb on it. Nothing to do with it being an ancient monument that needs protecting, no. Like, does this really look like stone? I mean, does this really look like stone to you or just like a bunch of concrete? Can, do you really think that that there's a giant quarry somewhere with slabs of, of stone and people are sitting there chiseling it away. It's the most absurd story I've ever heard in my life. You can just stare at this and just see. Look, it just looks like a pile of dirt. Well, obviously there's no quarry there now, but there was. And limestone is still quarried in Egypt. Like this one here, for example, in Southern Egypt near Minya. Because that's basically what it is. It's just a, it's a concrete. So who knows when the pyramids were built? Who, when do they say that they were discovered? Because it's probably, they probably were built right before they were discovered. Um, I don't even care enough to go look into that because it's just a bunch of BS. They were discovered right after they were built. Well done, Sherlock. They've been known of, obviously, since they were built, my friend. They've not had to be rediscovered. Anything they push on you when you're a child, dinosaurs, Egyptology, the, the rain, the water cycle, all of that is BS. Sorry, the water cycle is BS. It's not pushed on you, as you say, it's taught to you as part of an education. 
And to call it all BS is just naive, matey. Well, there we go. Hans never fails to impress us with his ignorance, does he? I wonder what he'll come up with next. I'm almost, almost looking forward to it. But for now, I'm afraid we're all done and dusted for another Tin Foil Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's appreciated. Now, please, if you do watch this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We really need to get to that half a million before the end of the year. I'd very much appreciate it if you did that. And of course, if you enjoyed this particular video, a thumbs up would be uh, helpful as well. Thank you. Just enough time to once again thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Remember, uh, click on the link in the description or go to surfshark.deal slash simandan and use the code simandan for the whopping 83% off and three months extra free. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking week and I'll see you on Friday for the second five questions that all flat earthers should know how to answer from Peter and Pete. See you then.